All right, Liberty Civil Defense 357 mag versus 9 millimeter, and we're going to do this in full size guns. And I tested this stuff in the past on water jugs and bologna packs, and I wasn't really impressed, but it was kind of hard to see what we were getting in water. As we're, I'm going to do a gel test today, and I think we'll see a little bit more. Now, I'm not going to run this through the chronograph, but this is a 357 Magnum 50 grain rated at 2100 feet per second. The reason why I'm not going to run it through the chronograph is I don't have a lot of rounds of it left. And what I got before was 2005 feet per second from the 4-inch barrel, which is below rated velocity. And this is an interesting thing. I don't necessarily like it, but it is how it is. The 9mm is actually more powerful in a 4-inch barrel. So it should be a lot more powerful in a 5-inch barrel. So I'm going to run one of these to the chronograph to kind of see what we get. Uh, but it's 50 grains as well, rated at the same, uh, rated at 2,000. So it's rated below, but we actually got higher than rated velocity. So it was more powerful than the 357. But I'm really curious of what we're going to get in a gel test. So I'm going to run that one 9mm round through our chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy I get at the same time. Then I'm going to do my ballistic test. I got four layers of denim, followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle, followed by a quarter inch MDF to represent hitting ribs or sternum. And I'm going to do a shot with this and without it because with it it's like a chest shot without it it's like a gut shot and we'll see what kind of ballistic performance we get and if i have enough rounds left which i don't know if i will or not i'll fire a couple at that uh steel silhouette so let's get started with this test all right 357 in the past got 2005 feet per second this is rated at 2000 so let's see what we get in our full length five inch barrel here in our m p 1,142, so pretty good power, very little recoil. Let's set our ballistics gel block and see what we get with these rounds. All right, 357 Magnum, it was the less powerful round. So I'm gonna go through our medium density fiber board first and then switch on to no MDF. So 357, MDF. Very little recoil. No MDF, just our gut shot. So take a look. All right, so we saw pretty much the same thing here. And what I'm seeing here is interesting. Um, with our MDF shot, you know, this is a fragmenting. None of the fragments got in with our MDF shot. With our plain clear ballistics shot, only like one or two little um, fragments got in. And every one of them is in here. You can, you can kind of see it. This is where I impacted going this way. And within, well, right at about, inch and a half it starts to expand out and here's it coming outward where they didn't make it through this first three inches here so basically what this would represent is you know pectoral muscle and the only thing that's going to punch through past that is going to be that core so with our mdf what we got for total penetration is 11 and a half inches with no mdf we got about 11 and three quarters so that's not necessarily very good, you know, because clear ballistics is a little bit less um, dense, I guess, than, than organic gel. So, you know, that would be less than that, you know. So that's not necessarily very good. Uh, let's see how our uh, 9mm does. All right, 9mm through our MDF. Let's see what we get. A lot of energy right up close. 9mm, got shot. So what we got with the nine millimeters, we had the same thing in this first uh, three inches here, except it went a little bit deeper. Um, you know, a little bit more damage on the nine millimeter side. It's kind of hard to see, see from here, but the actual gel is more disrupted than that 357. Interesting, um, the MDF shot with our 357, I didn't show it, but it was one little itty bitty hole. With this, 
we're actually impacting with those little fragments and it ripped this all out. So yeah, what we're seeing here is fragments are coming in deeper with our plain clear ballistic shot and that fragments coming in deeper hit the MDF and really busted it up more. But we're seeing less penetration with the nine millimeter in general. So with our MDF shot, we're at nine and three quarters. With no, M no MDF, we're at about 11 and a quarter inches. So that's not very impressive. Now, what I think I wanna do now, these are very fast, very light. I only have like maybe two or three rounds of each left. I'm just gonna shoot them for 75 yards because if they're that fast and they're not flat shooting, why not? They, they should reach out that far. So let's try that. All right, 75 yards from the target. You know, my full-size Smith & Wesson handguns are most accurate I own. So I'm optimistic. I think I'm just gonna hold center. 75 yards, see what I can do. I believe it hit, but that was fast. There's no delay in time for me to hear. Up, oh, I missed that one. No recoil. And again, I believe that hit. Let's move on to 357 mag. This actually had a little bit more recoil, even though it was less powerful, which indicates that the round itself is actually more powerful. It's just losing a lot in a handgun. So, let's see what we get. A little bit to the right. It's hitting low right let me aim high left up oh, that was my last round so i don't get the opportunity with that but yeah these shot really weird um i was aiming right on it and we were talking about maybe three foot low three foot to the right so that was weird the nine millimeter shot fine though pretty much point of aim and impact from what i can see here so it's one of these things that's really gimmicky here. It seems like they're pushing them a little bit too fast. It just, it's hard to say what these would be good for. I think there's a good chance they would have good quote unquote stopping power. People hate that term, but that would be painful if you took that into pectoral. Whether or not that core would do much to stop, stop somebody, that would be a heck of an impact. So even though it might not be as deadly as other rounds or stop, as consistently as other rounds with barriers in the way and all that, I think it would grab some attention to the person and they might stop doing what they're doing. But there's just no way I would carry this stuff. It's too gimmicky. There's just not enough street cred on it. I don't think it's not something I'm willing to risk my life to carry. So that's what you get today. Interesting ammo, but uh, I don't know. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.